three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another exciting review. Yes, folks, I am back. Uh, I took a week off to heal. My mutant healing factor is uh, slower than it used to be, but I finally healed from the deadly virus that was killing me. A at least I think I did. I mean, I feel a lot better today than I've had in a long time. So, yes, I'm like uh, Logan, and uh, the adamantium is slowly killing me. Anyway, today I have for you da -da -da -da, the Spartan Wrath, or Wraith. I think they misspelled it. Wrath or Wraith? It looks like the guy from um, uh, Halo Reach, the one that would cut the skull in his visor. Now, this particular, well, Spartan, see if we can focus here. Focus. Focus. Damn you. Focus. Uh, hold on, folks. You know, you, you would think that all the time I spend on Wish.com, I would order a shitty camera that's better than the one I'm using. <laughs> Because they always have these, uh, you know, uh, digital cameras on sale there. In fact, uh, if you go to Wish.com, let, let, let's pause this for a minute. Uh, they have um, this guy right now on there. Single, uh, individually sold. Uh, you can buy as many as you want. But he's molded in a different color. And it's for sale right now. I think for like $6, if I, if I remember right. As of like last night when I looked at it. Yeah, so if you're a collector of uh, the core figures, and if you're collecting the ones that were discontinued, like this guy, go to Wish.com, type in G.I. Joe, and he's under G.I. Joe. And then it'll say, I don't know, it has like some kind of weird name. I don't know if they're knockoffs or if they're uh, pirate figures or whatever, but it's the same guy. Okay. Plus, they're selling the original course from the before this line, like from the 80s. So go to Wish.com and pick those up. And in fact, you can find everything on Wish.com that looks legitimate, but it's all I think it's all pirate um, toys because there's a huge toys category there. I mean, some are legit. It says verified by Wish, which I don't care. But, I mean, you get a really good deal on there. Oh, look, now it's focusing. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Look. And this wave, this FMN10, I left him behind. But I did pick up FMN11, FMN12, FMN13, and I left that one behind. The FDP10, whatever that is. It's some kind of alien uh, guy. I don't know. I didn't get him. Anyway, I had to get Cortana. I figured this guy would be around... Available at Walmart at anywhere. But I, I, I do have this soldier figure here too. I picked him up. But look in the video section of my channel. You can watch those reviews. But it's time to show this guy off. And he did come from the Waikiki Walmart. Past Ala Moana Mall. So if you go to Ala Moana Mall in Hawaii. Go to the Walmart. And that's where you can find the figures. Now I did email Mattel. And they told me absolutely nothing on where to find these other figures for sale. Like, specifically, who has some and who doesn't. So, I I'm thinking Walmart does have them in the system. It's just luck of the draw in whatever part of the country you're in. Whatever state, you might get lucky and find some. But, as far as I know right now, my local Walmarts are restocking their Halo figures. But, it's just Master Chief and um, Locke. And Buck, and just some of the older waves. None of the new stuff. There's a, a online. I saw one called the Helio Skrill. It's a red Spartan female with a new armor. Very nice. I'm hoping <clears throat> that Hasbro takes a look at these Halo figures and makes a GI Joe line with this articulation, you know, but better sculpting, better paint apps, and sell them for ten bucks. See, you know, see, they can hold the weapon. So imagine if that's a, a soldier, you know, like a, a Marine or a, like do a World War II style themed G.I. Joe 
And then, and then make like, you know, the standard guys. Make like Duke. Make like Gung Ho. Rock and roll. Uh, you know, don't do the ninjas for a while. Don't do Snake Eyes. Don't do Storm Shadow. Lay off of those. Stick to the military guys. I would love to see a 12-inch Flash figure with a laser backpack. I mean, you know, take the little original Joe team that they looked in the 80s. Make them 12 inches. But sculpt them to look just like the little ones. And then put this type of articulation here where there's no rivets. See, you don't need rivets. And at $10 a piece, it would really sell. I mean, kids would like them. And, and then if you put some nice artwork that says, like, G.I. Joe over the front, you know. I'm hoping that uh, Mattel does buy Hasbro. And then they get the, their hands on, that, on the G.I. Joe license. And they're able to get this team that does Halo... To make GI Joes. Now, if you look here, you see right there. Look, you can see the skull. All right, let's see if I can do it this way. It's probably clearer when I do it this way, sideways. All right, let me see. Move the camera back. More room like this. All right, just the light. Yeah, you see how they did the? They actually sculpted the skull in there into the plate. Into the faceplate. Pretty cool. Um, look, three sad onions. Why, oh, why onions are you sad? That's a shout out to Stuart Ashens across the pond. Shout out to you, Stuart. Yes, Stuart Ashens figured out the sad onion phenomenon affecting all toys worldwide. So if you have an action figure or a doll or a Barbie or something like it, always look for this symbol. Look for the three sad onions. Look how sad they are. And go to ashens.com, A-S-A-A-S-H-E-N-S.com, and you can order, like, uh, memorabilia based on the sad onions to promote awareness. That's coming from the onion board, the sad onion board. Anyway, back to the review. Okay, we're going to need specialist equipment to check this toy out here. Um... Here we go. Look, yes, folks, look, it's the box cutter of freedom. Yes, folks, the mighty box cutter of freedom. Setting toys free from their plastic prisons since the beginning of this channel. Okay, the fine folks at Mattel decided to leave the flap on the outside. Apparently, they glued it in here. They put a perforated line across, like a Ziploc. And then they put a piece of cello tape. So what I'm going to do... Extend the blade, kind of release it, kind of like carpal tunnel syndrome. We're just going to release it and let it go. All right. And it's been released. Can we remove it? No, we can't. Always remember that on these packages here, let me show you on camera here. Pick it up a little. So you have a little hole right here and a little hole right here. That's where you stick the box cutter of freedom. Okay. Now, stick it in there, and cut it, there you go, Ugh. you gotta circumcise it, alright, just like the Hodge twins, that was, you know, Keith and Kevin, they're talking about circumcising, you gotta circumcise your toys, alright, here we go, are we gonna get in there, oh, better do it off camera, okay, I did one side, Hold on. All right. Look, see, I released it over here this way. This section is still attached, but if I just cut gently like that, it'll release it. Okay. So instead of ripping the whole package open, tearing the box up, now you can just pull it out. In theory. Yeah. See? And it's half a backing on there. See? Da 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 da. Look at this cool figure. Look at the gun attached to his leg. Wow. G.I. Joe of the future. Hasbro, you're messing up on these prime opportunities. That 12-inch uh, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, and Roadblock from Retaliation were a joke. Uh, he's over there on the other side of the room. I can't get to him right now, but... They didn't have all the articulation this figure has here. 
and the sculpting was off. So you got a lot of work to do, Hasbro. Open the arms up. You're going to clip it under there, there, and there. So look, cuticle cutters from Dollar Tree, Greenbrier International. Did you snap it right there? Snap it right there. And snap it right there. Ta da! And he should come out. Okay. So, yes, uh, if you live in Hawaii, go to the Walmart that's underneath the Sam's Club in Waikiki. It's a good store. There's an actual Korean barbecue place inside there. You could uh, have a nice meal. Forgot to review the place. I was a little busy. But next time I decide to disappear and hop on a plane and go to the other side of the world, I'll uh, review the restaurant. Although, uh, on my way there, there's one called the Golden Coin Filipino Restaurant. They have some of the best lumpias you can eat. So, all my Hawaii fans... Uh oh, better pause. Well, well, we're back, folks. Uh, <laughs> sorry for all the interruptions. I uh, I should have shut that phone off before, but uh, I'm waiting for my girlfriend to call me. Sadly, it was not her. It was my friend down the street who I was trying to convince to buy a big GI Joe auction off eBay for five hundred bucks. You get like instant GI Joe collection, twelve inch. Uh, He's on the fence about it. If I had the cash right now, I'd, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. But uh, I might still get it. I don't know. Now, look at this figure. It's got the knife here, and it's glued on right here on the on the top here. Look at the look at the posability on the on the helmet. I mean, really posable. Okay, the wrist turn. Uh. A little tight. We're gonna need some Wesleys. Don't worry, I'll glue the video in um, in the editor. It's got some Wesleys in there. Uh, I'm gonna need some in the hips here. That's about it, I think. Well, maybe the the knee joints in the back. What is Wesley's? I don't know. It's generic armor. On. But uh, look, see how you can bend the knees? And it's ball jointed too. So look. See that? Titan Heroes can't do that. Um, even the Justice League doesn't have ball joints. But these do. Oops. So, let me see. Yeah, once the grease gets into the joints. Uh, you're not going to get too much shoulder movement out of the, the joint there. Because of the way it sculpted the armor. But you don't need that much. I mean, it's she just he's going to hold the gun. If it's a dude. Look at the symbol there on the arm, see? Now, look at that combat shotgun with flashlight on the end. Now, you can, it's got the hole in back here. You could put it right there on the hole. See? You can hold it like that. You can stand up. Let's see how he stands up. <coughs> I'm surprised Walmart hasn't ordered a whole bunch of these for, for Texas. Uh, they would sell quick. I mean, because they're really cool. I haven't seen them on the Mattel website. Maybe they'll update it. I'm not sure. I mean, look at the way that guy looks. Well, that's pretty cool. Look at those grenades there. See? Spartan Wrath. Wrath? It should. I would think it'd be Wraith, but it says Wrath on there. Yeah, I was. Um, well, what I did here's the thing. I only took a carry on with me, right? So when I got all these figures, I just threw them all in a big box at the local post office. 
and I mailed them back to myself here in Texas, along with all the souvenirs and stuff like that. It was just macadamia nuts, because that's like the best thing you can buy when you're over there is macadamia nuts. Although they're not native to the island, they were brought in there by the Australians. Uh, but they love the volcanic soil, so yeah, you're gonna get some very good Hawaiian host, Mauna Loa, whatever brand you like, macadamia nuts. But yes, folks, uh, this is the Spartan Wrath. This is what I would consider the future of what G.I. Joe should be from Hasbro, although this is a Mattel product. And I'm sure glad they have it because they uh, they made that real cool Warthog. And these Spartans are awesome. And the finger does fit. In, in the trigger there because it's molded separately okay let's see let's move the shoulder up like this twist this pick this up turn that like that bend this like this okay do a combat pose okay. not sure the, this guy's in the game I mean the only one I remember that looked something like this was the one from uh, Halo uh, Halo Reach. He could be in the new game. I don't know. I don't have a, a current generation video game system. I'm still sticking to my PS3. It still works. It still got good games. So I haven't upgraded. I'd rather buy action figures. So yes, thank you, Mattel. You did a great job. I wish you would have emailed me back to tell me who has the Helio Skrill for sale, so I can get one, and the rest of these figures. I, I want to walk into my local Walmart and pick some up, but I can't find them. All right, let's see. Let's, let's do a pose like this. Pose down. Something like that. Big gun. Yes. We have a big gun culture down here in Texas. Uh, you go to the pharmacy, you can pick up your prescription. <laughs> they sell guns. There's a place on Leopard Street called Nichols Guns. Have a shooting range in there and everything. And yeah, I mean, uh, down here, when you're a kid, I mean, they start you off with the BB guns. They start you off with uh, slingshots, bow and arrows pellet guns. Well, you would graduate to pellet guns later on. And they were pump action, like using a Red Rider or a Wolf. Uh, was it the Timber Wolf? The, the original? Then the Red Rider, and then there's the one above that one. Forgot. But anyway, in the right hands, guns make you safer. They, that's why the military uses guns to protect the country. A lot of people tend to forget that. And, uh, in the wrong hands, they're, you know, it's bad. It's a bad deal. But in the right hands, with properly trained personnel, usually uh, the guys in the military are, that excel in shooting, like snipers and Marines, uh, they're usually all from Texas. You know? Watch Forrest Gump. Uh, watch that scene where uh, they're all walking in, in, uh, in Vietnam looking for Charlie and... Uh, you know, where Lieutenant Dan says, get down, shut up. You know, <laughs> and then, and he's talking about the, all the different guys that were in the platoon. And then he's talking, he, he talking about Tex. And he couldn't remember where Tex was from. Tex? Gee, I wonder where Tex was from. Anyway, I don't know why that popped in my head. This is a cool figure. Yeah, I know people have problems with gun toys. I mean, even the, the new Star Wars uh, Han Solo movie. The movie posters, they have Han holding the blaster like this. They had to edit the blaster out. Now they're, they're shooting out new uh, photos, new posters to the theaters that do not have the guns in place. Which is like weird. Like It's like watching E.T. I, I saw E.T. at the theater when I was a kid. And the FBI showed up with, with all kinds of weaponry. Rifles and everything. And it scared the crap out of me in the theater. I was glad they, that Spielberg put that in there. But here you fast forward to the future. 
he he went in there with a computer and edited out all the weapons. You know, now you see them holding like walkie talkies to make it less scary. Uh, it kind of took away from the movie, Mr. Spielberg. You should have left it the way it was. You, you want to scare the kids. You know? Because if they're not, if they don't, if they're not scared of the weapons, I mean, what are they going to be scared of? There's a, <laughs> what's that movie with Bruce Willis where, where they're eating that, those hamburgers and, uh, the guys are talking about E. coli in the meat, and then, and then Bruce Willis goes, "You mean there's shit in the meat?" Yes, Bruce Willis, there is shit in the meat, and then he starts talking about America and uh, you know how everybody's all scared about everything. I tell you, um, watch the new teaser trailer for Cobra Kai, which is the Karate Kid uh, series coming out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty interesting. Wow. Anyway, I'm an old man. What do you expect? Uh, this is a cool figure. If you like, if you like, Halo Combat Evolved. Yes, Combat Evolved. Buy these figures because they're cool. And and who knows? Maybe in the future they'll put this out. I know they're working on. Uh, an Iron Man suit for the military. Maybe for a special forces group that could that could use it. Look at that thing. He's got that little thing on his chin. You know, uh, you know what's weird? They, they, they uh, <laughs> the president uh, talked about space force. Making a space force like like if we don't have one already. I I mean if you if you if you do some research, we already have a space force. But he actually went on record saying, you know, we need to create a space force, you know, land, sea, and air. Now, land, sea, air, and space. And now, think about to G.I. Joe back in the 80s. You know, we had the Defiant Launch Complex. I should insert a, a picture of the USS Defiant Launch Complex with the, um, I forgot the name of the shuttle. Space is a anyway. fighting domain, just like the land, air, and sea. We may even have a Space Force develop another one. Space Force. We have the Air Force. We have the Space Force. We have the Army, the Navy. Yeah, that's the Defiant right there in, in the box. It's, uh, that's from an eBay auction that's current. But, yeah, I remember going to service merchandise and seeing that on the shelf, and I wanted it for Christmas, but uh, I just didn't get it. I do have the flag. I have the Terror Drone. But the Defiant, I never got. And they're pretty expensive right now. But maybe one day I will get it when I restore the Joe room to its former glory. Which means tearing down half the house, rebuilding the house, and making it a dedicated Joe room. So, yeah, that's the Defiant right there. And it's huge. I mean, like, that's a big box. Uh... The box is like three or four feet tall, something like that. So it's big, and then you have to put it together, but uh, that's the Defiant. And that's what they're going to basically make a Space Force. G.I. Joe had a, had a Star Brigade. Uh, the toy line was ahead of its time. Well, not really. It was actually using stuff that we already had and make it into toys. So... Some of those science fiction toys that are in the G.I. Joe line from the 80s, they're not science fiction. They're, they're actually science fact. But they're making you think it's science fiction. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, time will prove me right. Uh, if this video's still up uh, 100 years from now, if you're watching this from the future, hey, I was right, right? <laughs> yeah. You know how they're making a big deal, like, uh, it's going to take forever to get to Mars and all that? Hey, did you just need to go to Area 51 and, and get on one of the ships there, and they, they can get there, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, tops? And to all the aliens watching this video, hey, I think you guys look cool. You look like Vikings, uh, according to some of those YouTube videos. Uh, 
but very human. I mean, uh, it'd be cool to talk to you guys. And uh, yeah, you might think I'm crazy, but I'm not. So follow Dr. Stephen Gre Greer. He's got uh, alien contact protocols. Uh, watch some of those Joe Rogan videos where he's got those guys telling you about a alien, uh, the alien agenda here on Earth. Uh, a lot of senators know about it. It's like a big thing. You know, the public can't handle it because if they make it public knowledge, which they did before 9-11, uh, people would freak out because they wouldn't know where to put religion in with the aliens. You know what I mean? And that's what causes conflict. I'm not saying I don't believe in Jesus. Jesus is there. He's up there. But it would cause a lot of problems. Because everybody's trying to keep control of everybody else. And what's it got to do with toys? Well, it affects us all. You know, the toy industry is affected. I mean, look at Toys R Us going out of business. Thanks to market forces. Thanks to bad deals. Bad decision making. Bad CEOs. You know, they inherited all that debt. Plus making bad moves. It didn't help. They're going the way of KB Toys. Now there will be no toy retailer in a brick and mortar store besides Walmart and Target. Maybe Myers, but there's no Myers down here. You got to go up north. So my suggestion would be Walmart, since you got all the money, make a Walmart toy uh, store apart from your super centers. You know, and they call it something else. Don't let people know it's called, it's it's a Walmart owned business. I mean, you do it all over the world. You know, call it the uh, Kids Playland or the Ultimate Toy Store or something like that. Anybody needs to come into it because we do need competition. Competition is good for the consumer, brings the prices down, and kids still like toys. And sure, you can say, yeah, they're all in the video games. They're all in the smartphones. Well, that is a problem. I mean, when I was in school, the only phone you had was the pay phone in the hall. And you had to borrow a quarter to use that thing. You don't need phones in, in, in school. Cell phones. They should confiscate them all at the front door. And then at the end of the day, when you're done learning... You get it back. You know, all that texting, all that stuff. You don't need it. You don't really need it. You know, if the power goes off and they can't get it back on, your console's not going to work unless you're running it off solar power. So no more video games, none of that. But you're going to have these guys. You're going to have good old reliables. You're going to have a G.I. Joe. You're going to have Halo figures. You're going to have army men. And that's why they call them the good old reliables. That way, you have something to play with. You have board games, you know. Sometimes the old ways are the best. So, yeah. My two cents, folks. Life's uh, difficult enough as it is. I would suggest living more simply and cutting back on all the stuff you don't need. Now, if you look at his forearm here, it looks like he's got extra clips here for the gun or shots that wasn't painted. Maybe I'll paint those later. I don't know. This video's running long. I'm here rambling on, babbling on, giving advice. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I'm back, folks. I'll uh, I'll up another uh, upload another video soon. Besides this one, and. Uh, Finished the the museum uh, series, the Army Museum in Waikiki. I'll put those up. And B, you're listening. Don't tell my sister. She hasn't watched my videos. So don't let her know. Because she'll be really upset that I jumped on a plane and took off to the other side of the world and disappeared. And then I came back and nobody knew. <laughs> yeah. I tend to do that. I'm an Aries, 
So Aries people tend to do that sort of stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. You have come to the end of the video. According to the second segment, I'm in about 17 minutes here. So if you're still with me, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you on the next video. And do I have any shout outs? Um, let me see. Shout out to Ben. Shout out to Rosie. Shout out to Sonia. Shout out to Debbie. Shout out to George. Are you watching this, George? Um, who else would be watching my videos? I don't know. Family members? Well, my family over in Hawaii. My family in the Philippines. My family in China. My family up in Waco. Everybody on there. Everybody that we're related to. I'm related to. Um, thanks for watching the video. What have you learned? Did you learn anything? No. You learned to buy more toys, right? <laughs> Did you learn to, if you find this figure, pick it up because it's awesome. It's worth $10. I mean, think about it. Would you rather have this than a, than a Star Wars figure that you can't even pose? I mean, I like Star Wars. Like, let me see. Do I have one here? Uh, yeah. Let me show you Ray. Okay. Look at Ray. Look, it's going to retail for about eight, about nine, eight, nine dollars here. Look, the articulation is not there. It's very basic articulation. Nice sculpting, but the couple of bucks more, you get a 12 inch figure. That's more value for your money there. So, yeah. A little less in there. What else? Um,. Any more shout outs? Is my brother watching? Shout out to my brother over up in uh, in California. My, uh, well, you know who you are. If I left anybody out, sorry. I can't think right now. And I'll see you in the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. Arrivederci. Das vidanya. Que vaya con Dios. Sayonara. And bye-bye.
He gets a job working for UMP, making ten dollars an hour. That's more money in one day than he makes back home at home with. So, frankly, I don't see a problem. Nobody's making these people come up here, right? Nobody's telling them to come work for UMP. Okay, but that's not the point. And you know what? I admire these people, okay? I really do. They're hard workers. They're working hard, and they're trying to improve their lives, okay? Now, isn't that what our ancestors did? Isn't that what made this country the great country that it is today? Huh? And you want to try and stop them? You want to tell them that you know what's best for them? Most people don't like to be told what's best for them. What's going on at UMP is unacceptable. And I'm going to have to tell Jack about all of this. I'm going to tell Jack, huh? I've been working for this company almost 30 years. Hell, I grew up right down the street from the Nathans when we were all back in Muncie. So, here's my little piece of friendly advice to you, Donnie Boy. And be careful how close I got to Jack. See your boy Jack about this close to get his tit caught in the rear. He's under investigation, okay? Cooking the books, patting his expense account, not to mention boning his own secretary, okay? And that is not the kind of company that we want to run. Louise, that's right. Your buddy Jack's got two, maybe three months before he's out the door. Could be sooner. He's sleeping with Louise. And you know what, Don? You should be thanking me instead of doing all this complaining. I negotiated a hell of a good price with UMP, okay? I negotiated a great price for your fucking meat. Hell, if it weren't for me, there wouldn't be no big one, Don. I'd like to see you go and find a supplier that will sell you grade A chuck at 40 cents a pound. I'd like to see that. Have if you ever met Louise? Have I ever met her? 20 years ago, I gave her that child. She was a good-looking woman back then, too. It is a sad fact of life, Don. But the truth is, we all have to 